I'm Zachary Bird, an award-winning cookbook author and vegan recipe developer. Today I'm at Edgar's Mission because I've teamed up with Vegan Easy to show you how to have a kinder Christmas. How are we going to do that? We're going to be making a pavlova without using dairy cream or eggs to make the pav. So if your experience with vegan pavlova has been a crusty meringue with coconut cream on top, I'm here to show you how to do the real deal. This fabulous pavlova, or fablova if you will, is from my first cookbook, Vegan Junk Food. To get started, grab a metal mixing bowl and we're going to clean it out with vinegar to remove any excess residue. Wipe out your bowl with a paper towel dampened with a little bit of vinegar and it's ready to go. To replace eggs, we're going to be using aquafaba. Aquafaba is a liquid that you can find in a can of chickpeas, a can of most beans, and this wonderful liquid does a fantastic job at replacing eggs in most baking applications. Today, we'll be using it to replace egg whites in the traditional meringue. Add your aquafaba and a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. This is gonna help when we whip it to keep everything nice and stable. To start off, whip this up for five minutes until we get to soft peaks. Once that's all whipped through, you should get much stiffer peaks, which will tell you that the meringue's ready to hit the oven. I'm gonna whip in just a little bit of xanthan gum to help stabilize everything, and we're ready to go. You'll know your meringue's ready when you can hold it upside down and nothing comes out. Look at how much gorgeous air has been beat into the aquafaba. It's now ready to become two crusts to sandwich our soft filling. To get it ready for the oven, we want a little bit of baking paper and we're going to trace out the sides of our pavlova. I've got an eight inch cake tin, so I'm going to make an eight inch circle to spoon my meringue into. Make sure to flip your baking paper over so you don't get any of the ink from the pen into your meringue. And now it's as simple as spooning this in to fill the circle. Smooth out a nice round disc, and this is ready to dry out at a super low temperature in the oven for up to three hours while we work on the filling. Aquafaba <laughs> is so versatile. It's the key to our awesome crust. You can also egg someone with aquafaba if you leave it in the can, but surprise, it's also the secret ingredient in our filling. We've whipped up this aquafaba just like earlier, but instead of folding in sugar, I've made this syrup out of glucose syrup, sugar, and agar agar powder to make a gorgeously marshmallowy filling. So all we have to do is keep whipping and pour in the hot syrup. Once it's all been incorporated, you're done. We can now use this as the filling for our beautiful pavlova. You can prepare any of these steps ahead of time, but when you're ready to serve, here's what you need to be looking at. We've got our gorgeous aquafaba crusty meringue. We've got our jiggly marshmallow center, some refreshed fruit, and the good news is Australia's got so many dairy-free creams to choose from. Have a play with the option to find out which one you and your family like best. To start off, grab one of your crusts and place it upside down on your serving plate. And then crack out that beautiful filling and we're going to prise it out from the pan with a knife and upend it on top of the crust. Once the filling's in, we put the other crusty meringue on top and bam, you've got all the layers of your pavlova. Top that with cream and all that's left is to cover this bad boy in beautiful summery fresh fruit. I like to use mango, strawberry, kiwi fruit, and a little bit of fresh passion fruit. And that's ready to serve. I hope you've had a great time making a kind of kind of fab over with me. I've got a party to get to with my friends from Edgar's Mission and Vegan Easy, so I best be off. Oh. <laughs> and who better to share it with than Pam Ahern, founder and director here at Edgar's Mission, plus the rest of the crew. This is absolutely amazing. This is the final frontier in veganism. There is no excuse now for not living a happy and healthy life and not causing harm to others. Make this Christmas a kinder Christmas. <laughs> You can sign up to the pledge at kindchristmas.com and find loads of resources and recipes like this one by taking the 30 day vegan easy challenge at veganeasy.org. <laughs> oh, perfect! <laughs> that was great timing. 
Someone got their cue. <laughs> you have not got your cue.